Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make a sublime, easy, 20 minutes, traditional, incredible pasta dish, a traditional Italian, one of the most iconic sauces. We are making puttanesca, spaghetti alla puttanesca, spaghetti puttanesca, whichever way you call it, whichever way you pronounce it, it will not hurt my feelings. Um, it's just delicious and divine nonetheless. I'm going to have a secret taste tester at the end who knows pasta, who knows Italian very well and um, see if I have passed the test. Although I know I have because it's so, so simple and delicious, but I'm using the very best ingredients I can get my hands on. There are a few elements to a traditional puttanesca. First one being a really good extra virgin olive oil at the bottom of your pot and a good amount of it. I want a few tablespoons. I'm gonna turn this on. Actually, I already had it on and I didn't even know. Then you're gonna need some garlic. Um, I'm gonna use three cloves. I'm gonna smash them, but I'm not going to chop them because I want to infuse that oil with the garlic flavor. So in Italy, I've said this a million times, the big misconception uh, is that Italians love a lot of strong garlic and that's not necessarily the case. When you go to Italy, garlic is not used nearly as much as we think here in the US that Italians use garlic. We like, I like strong garlic, I'm not gonna lie to you, but Italian Italians, when you go to Italy, they infuse the oil with the garlic, then they actually remove the garlic clove so that you there's no chance of you biting down on it. One of the in most important elements to puttanesca are anchovies. And now I know that some people are just really freaked out by anchovies. I really like this brand. This is um, an imported brand. They're so nice. They're so delicious. You wanna look for anchovies packed in olive oil. That's the good stuff. And it makes the puttanesca, it gives it its, dis its distinct sort of salty flavor. You are never going to taste the fish, okay? because the anchovies are going to melt into that oil. You're never going to taste the fish. You're just gonna get a really beautiful sort of umami-like flavor. I need my, my weapon. And look, they literally melt. They splatter though, so be careful. Beautiful. They do splatter like crazy, so just be careful. You also need a little bit of heat. Right? There are so many different versions of why puttanesca is called a puttanesca. Some people will tell you it's because it's cheap. Uh, puttanesca refers to ladies of the night, if you will. Uh, some people will tell you it's because it's cheap to make because traditionally this is using all canned uh, ingredients like canned tomatoes, canned anchovies, canned olives. So people will say it's cheap. Other people will say it's because it's quick, fast, and easy. And then other people will say that the ladies of the night used to make this dish, put it in the windowsill, and attract customers with the scent. So whatever you believe, um, you know, all new. It's delicious. See how the anchovies have melted? That is what you want. I have this pretty much low to as low as it goes. Now, tomatoes. A nice San Marzano tomato is nice. I'm trying to get this open. A nice San Marzano tomato is lovely. Um, I'm using my home jarred tomatoes and I'm gonna use one just plain sauce and then one, this is cherry tomatoes because I'm all out of plum tomatoes. Um, just for a little bit of texture, I'm gonna use one and one. Add that right in. And just you wait to see how beautiful this is gonna be in the end and all this gorgeous stuff around the edges, that nutty brown color, that's all of that anchovies that melted into just gloriousness. So now I'm gonna just bring this to a simmer and I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes or until that pasta water comes to a boil. My sauce is simmering, doing wonderful things. My pasta water is just about to a boil, but I wanna focus on the sauce one second. I need to season it. It needs plenty of salt. And now the other elements that make this uh, puttanesca are olives and capers. I like to use pitted calamata or gaeta olives, and I like to make sure that they are pitted, and then your capers. Now capers, truth be told, my favorite kinds of capers are the capers, non pareils um, packed in salt. A little hard to find, but you know what? You can use regular capers and just rinse. You, both of them need to be rinsed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Add them in. 
The combination of the briny olives, the capers, the salty anchovy, right? All of that gives you different layers of like umami. It gives you different layers of just bits that when you are eating strand and strand of spaghetti, you're like, why is this so good? Um, it's because all of them work together to just create like perfect harmony. I'm gonna add a little bit of basil, add that straight in. And this is just gonna continue to sit here and saute. It doesn't need a ton of attention from me. I'm going to babysit this. I'm gonna crank the heat up just a little tiny bit. It doesn't need a whole lot of cooking time. It is a quick cooking sauce. Um, once my water is up to a rolling boil, I'm gonna add my pasta, spaghetti or linguine. You can also do pacciatelli or you could do bucatini um, if you wanted to. Once that's up to a rolling boil, I'm gonna add it in and then I'll bring you back here to pull it all together and then I'm gonna call my taste tester for the stamp of approval. Sauce is done. I added some fresh cut parsley to it. The pasta is cooked. I'm gonna just tong it. A tiny, tiny bit of the starchy water is a good thing. It'll allow the sauce to just adhere to the pasta, but you don't wanna add so much that it's watery. There's no need to reserve any pasta water for this, but just a, a little bit is enough. And then you want it to cook with the sauce for like a minute because it's really the only way it's going to really absorb any flavor. It's a lot more than I thought. That is beautiful. It's not too liquidy, not too saucy. Just gonna grab the garlic out. Just giving it a minute makes such a difference. And please never be one of those people that takes boiled pasta, drain and put it on a platter and then put a scoop of sauce on top because I want everything to taste good. Now I'm gonna plate because I do have a special guest that is just waiting on standby. I'm gonna grab a spoon as well to get some of the sauce on top. A little bit of Parmigiano Pecorino and we have the Italian of all Italians, the, uh. the grand, what do you call yourself, the Grand Duke? We're Grand Duke. When I call myself, when I call myself Your Royal Highness uh, Room Mom, what did you call yourself? Are you okay? What? Do you remember we did a live event where I am? They called me Your Royal Highness Room Mom, and you said that I am Grand Duke, Grand Sire. What did you call Grand yourself? I don't remember. You want me to remember things that I said a month or two months ago? I don't remember what I said yesterday. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm just got invited here so I can try this special I dish. That my daughter made. I just Very like you know. Very traditional. Like, can I try? I would yes. say this. This is spaghetti alla puttanesca. Exactly. Okay. Do you think I'm gonna like it? I know you're gonna. Of like course it. I am. Okay. Very traditional. Uh, da, 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 olives, like capers. You put anchovies in here? I did. I'm gonna punch your head. Ow. <laughs> mm. That's good. My puttanesca mm. is dynamite. How can it be bad? You're using very good extra virgin olive oil, very good anchovies, my home canned tomatoes that just taste like sweet summer. Mm -hmm. Pasta is nice and al dente. How can it be anything but delightful? Oh, people ask me all the time. You know, it's the hand, you know what I'm saying? This is, how do you, how do you, like, like when, when I make pizzas, how the pizza is so good? Why is it so good? Because, I don't know, because I just put the tomatoes and, and I, I think, made dough with the flour, yeast and salt and the water. Still, you can have a Ferrari, but if you don't know how to drive, you don't go nowhere. <laughs> you can have a Ferrari, but if you don't know how to drive, you go nowhere. We'll leave you on that note. Good? Pass the test? Oh, it is good. Great. Can I have it? Yes, you can all have right. it. I'm going to do all things. All right. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> LaraInTheKitchen.com for the written recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Him and I are going to work on some video ideas together. If you have any ideas for us, leave them in the comments below. A live event is coming soon. We're just going to straighten out our schedules because I hear you. I know it. It's coming. Relax. Very mad at me. They're like, where's a live with Papa Sal? They're very mad. I heard your mouth got pulled over for speeding. <laughs>